Hello, hello, hello! What's happening, everybody? MCOC Droid does back again for another video on Marvel Contest of Champions. Uh, I am back after, I mean, it's only been a couple of days, but uh, I was spending a Christmas day with the family. Uh, well, Christmas Eve, too. I, I met up with my parents after work. We had some dinner, and then we spent all day together on Christmas Day, uh, which also happens to be my dad's birthday, so it's always kind of a double celebration. Um, and it was a great day. So hopefully for all of you out there who celebrate Christmas, um, hopefully you had a great one. You spent some time with friends or family. Uh, maybe you got some cool gifts. I We keep it relatively low-key these days. Um, but, uh, I did get some gift cards, so I was able to, uh, get some stuff. Sorry, there was a weird pop-up on my laptop next to me. Um, so I was able to get some stuff, which I will talk about in a second. Uh, but, uh, I wanted to do some content while I was gone, and there was one Marvel Insider video that I actually wanted to work on, or, or kind of do a second part for, and I just ran out of time, so... Um, I just let it go. So I am here. I am back. I am ready to go. There is a lot to talk about. I'm going to kind of blaze through it because of course I am a day late and so many others have already. And so many, of course, have already seen it in the game. So first of all, super quick, uh, yesterday for Christmas, um, where hopefully I still have the, here we go. Um, yesterday for Christmas, they had some pretty decent, uh, unit bundles or I guess items added on to unit packages. So if you were going to buy units, especially if you were doing some gifting, um, yesterday was the day to do it. Um, so of course I'm not going to go through all this, but, uh, you know, so you see there, everybody got, um, four and five star shards that were added to the unit packages. They had some boosts, energy refills, stuff like that. But if you were uncollected, then those four star star shards got replaced with six star shards uh and again it was pretty good i would say it was just a step under the cyber monday deals but those have been probably the best deals that have ever been available in the game so this was to say that this was just under is certainly not disappointing um there were some really good deals and again i was able i did get some gift cards for christmas so i was able to get an odin's and one of the um which one is it? Oh, the 20 Starks briefcase, the $30 one. So I got two of those. So I picked up, you know, a few, uh, what, a grand total of 2,600 six-star shards. So that's just over a month's worth of uncollected uh, to kind of speed things up. But I was able to get basically um, 10,000 five-star shards. It's 9,500, but I'm going to round up. Um, and then the boost and stuff like that. So that was pretty darn cool. And then Kabam surprised us yesterday with a Christmas gift. I know a lot of people have been talking about rank down tickets. Kabam themselves said rank down tickets were not coming this year. Um, I forget exactly how they phrased it, but basically, excuse me, basically last year was last year. This is a new year. And so I, I kind of thought they were maybe hinting at some other little Christmas present they were going to do, but I was certainly not expecting this. So as you can see, they, they broke it down by those newer titles that have come out. Um, so, you know, if you completed act two, you got a four star awakening gem crystal, um, same if you had completed Act 3. If you completed Act 4, you got a generic 4-star gem. But for those of us who are uncollected, you got a 5-star Awakening Gem Crystal, which was totally unexpected. Um, so, you know, credit where it's due. Good job, Kabam. So I am claiming that. Um, so, yeah, I was very happy with that. However, I have been saving some of these gifting crystals uh, specifically the greater gifting crystals. I'm going to save the gifting crystals for now. Just let them keep building up. Um, at the end of the gifting event, I do want to do a huge shout out video to all the people I traded with. Um, and of course, more importantly, all the people who have just gifted me items. Because I want to make sure everybody, you know, gets their credit and make them feel like, um, you know, I didn't notice them. Uh, or I guess I should say make them feel like I did notice them. Um, and not just, you know, accepting all these gifts and not saying a proper thank you. So that will be coming next week at the end of the event. But for now, um, I have 30 of these lovely, greater gifting crystals to open along with the five star awakening gem crystal. I mean, heck that's the, that's the screenshot right there. Ain't it? Um, I will for sure open one five-star crystal. Normally, I would wait until my weekly opening, which of course will be on Sunday. But since, like I said, I was able to get a couple of those unit deals, 
um, and it was basically 10,000 shards. I was like, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and open one today. On top of that, based on how these greater gifting crystals go, I might open more than one five-star crystal. We'll see. It's all going to be based on the shards. Um, the max you can get from an individual greater gifting crystal is 15,000 five-star shards. I've seen a few of those. That is crazy, and that is super good luck. But without further ado, let's get into it. So here is how I'm going to do this video in case you want to skip ahead or what have you. Um, the, the downside is, and I was really hoping they would change it this year, is that there's still no real with these gifting crystals. You get your gold, you get your ISO, and then you get whatever your item is. I believe if you spin them out and you get either Kang or Thanos, uh, he would pop up first and then the ISO and the gold. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to quickly spin out a set of 10. And then I'm going to spin out the five star awakening gem crystal. I do want to spice this up and break it up a bit. Then I'm going to come back here, pop a set of 10, get out. I have one more of the uh, supersized annual feature grandmaster crystal that one of my Alliance members gifted me today. So I'll use that as sort of a break and then I'll come back in here and spin out the last 10. So here we go again. There's no real. So I'm going to quick tap all of these. I promise. Um, cause you don't want to sit around watching, not only watching 30 crystals spin out all the way, but with zero real. Um, all right. So we're starting off with mystic ISO 7,000 gold, which is the minimum. And all right, right off the bat, uh, 18,000 tier four for egg. So half of a tier four, it's not great, but it's not terrible. Um, I could definitely always use basics. Uh, we all can, cause I have a number of rank ups coming up very soon that I want to take care of. So the more basics and tier two alphas I get today, the easier all of that will be. So I will be happy if any of that comes um, or if a lot of that comes, I should say. 7,000 gold again. And OK, there we go. 2,500 five star shards. Very nice. So if I can get another 7,500 more from these crystals, that will mean I can open up two five star champions today. Um, I'm just, I'm, I, I don't want to wait. I know we still have some five star shirts coming from the holiday calendar. So that'll go towards my weekly opening based on how things go. Uh, but I, I want to open some five stars. We had the last week of Alliance war starting today. Um, so we shall see. Okay. Thousand five star shirts. I am not complaining. That is, that's not bad. That's more or less worth 300 units. Maybe not all the way, but no, I, I would say that because then a five star would be 3000 units. Earth, um, yeah, 3,000 units, excuse me. Um, so that's not terrible. Um, certainly no complaints there. Uh, 7,000 gold again. 100,000 gold is the absolute most if you have not seen that for yourself or from anybody else. But hey, there we go. 36,000 frags from that crystal alone. So that is a basically a fully formed tier four basic. So not bad. I'll take it. I will definitely take it. 300 units is about like the max worth of a fully formed tier four basic these days. Um, anything more than that. And you're definitely overpaying 300 is kind of getting up there too, but, uh, it's still, it's still an okay price. Like it's still more or less worth it. So 7,000 gold again. Um, and Hey, 1000 four star shard. So thank you for that. Kabam. Um, all that kind of stuff. Of course, that'll just go towards my Sunday opening. So, uh, so that's fine. And we'll see, I may still be able to do a five star by the Sunday, but if I don't, I won't be terribly disappointed. All right. One piece of skill. I, so, Hey, whoa, there we go. hundred thousand gold. That is the max and 36,000 tier four mutant frags. Uh, so that is a fully formed tier four mutant. I, I forget where I'm at with mutant. I don't think I'm maxed out yet. However, uh, spoiler alert, if you have not watched my, my Hector giveaway winning video from last weekend, the, his contest that I did a won a fully formed five-star basic from that. If you haven't watched it, I'm about to spoil the results. I did get a brand new five-star domino. So she is absolutely somebody who I would rank up and, uh, I would definitely need mutant catalyst for that. So this one's going to be four tier one alphas. Not bad. I definitely need those too. We all always need those. Um, I've only gotten domino to rank two so far. She's easily going to be a rank four, whether it's next or second or what have you. But, uh, Definitely going to be a rank, at least a rank four at some point. I'll, I'll just say that at least a rank four at some point. 
Um, and three signature stones. So whenever the three pops up, there's sets of five. But when you see the three pop up, yeah, you know that they're the four star sig stones, which are not really exciting. If you see the times two as you're opening these, then you know that you've got um, five star sig stones. So you either get 15 four star or 10 five star. And of course, I would much rather have the five star. Um, you know me, I'm always trying to max out every single four star that I can, um, any chance that I get, just because then, you know, that's more max sig crystals coming in, that's more five star shards coming in, but still would rather have the five star uh, six stones. Um, okay, 24,000 tier four basic, so that's, what, two thirds? Looks like I formed another one, so no complaints there. I've still been needing to rebuild the tier four basics anyway, after, you know, a bunch of random rank ups I've been doing recently, so... Now I'm going to be more focused, and I need all the tier 4 basics I can get. So it looks like this first stack of 10, no Kang, no Thanos. Uh, let's see what it's going to be. More tier 1 alphas, okay. So, alright, that is the, just to recap, that's the first stack of 10. So I got a fully formed tier 4 mutant uh, catalyst. I got just over 2 tier 4 basics, 78,000 frags. Um, eight of the tier one alphas, 3,500, uh, five star shards and a thousand four star shards and 15 of the, uh, cosmic four star six stones. So yes, you guessed it. As you see, I'm going to be doing a couple of the, uh, couple of the old screenshots here. So, all right. So that is the end of part one. Like I said, I'm going to break from these and, uh, I don't want to wait till the end to do this. Awakening Gem Crystal. I really, really want to open this right now. Again, this was free, so I, I don't want to say I can't complain, and I'm not going to say what I want and don't want. If you follow my channel, you probably know what I want, um, and I am going to tap this one. I don't know. I'm not now. I'm, I'm feeling it now. I just tapped it right there. I'm feeling it. Let's see. What is it going to be? Oh, okay, good. So the one class I did not want is Cosmic. That was the last one that I got. Um, what was that from? Uh, I think that was from Cyber Monday. That was literally like the only class where I didn't really have anybody right now to use it on. I needed to wait. And skill, I don't know. I mean, I could... Let's pull up my uh, five-star Unawakened. I could use it on a Gwenpool... You know, like it wouldn't be the worst option. None of the others do I want to use it on. So in all honesty, what I really wanted was science. In case you didn't already know it, I would 100% used it on Beardo right away. That's who I was hoping for. Uh, Mutant probably would have been my second choice because I would have either used it on that brand new Domino or I would have used it on um, Iceman. I also have Iceman. He's been unawakened for a long time. So skill is okay. Honestly, I'm going to most likely save it for Aegon for a potential Aegon down the road. So that if I can pull him, I can immediately awaken him. I'm saving all of my skill six stones right now. So he will get bumped up pretty darn quickly. All right, back to the greater gifting as promised for this second stack of 10. I'm just going to rapid pop them. Um, I could wait for the final stack of 10, but I feel like breaking it up right here in the middle. So here we go in three, two, one, pop. <gasps> oh, one new. Yes. Okay. I finally, I didn't see everything else and I kind of don't care. I'll watch it on the, uh, I'll watch it on the replay. All I saw was the one new. And of course I was so hoping for the, for any, either of the five stars. Excuse me. I'm getting a little excited, but after many years of trying, I at least finally have a four-star Kang. So he is in the collection now. Oh, that is awesome. Um, I've been wanting to keep Spider-Man as my, as my icon up here, just sort of as a continued tribute to Stan Lee. But I might have to change it to Kang just, for a, just temporarily, maybe while the event is on, just to show that I got him. But, uh, wow. Wow. Yeah, all right. Four-star Kang, let's go. I'm definitely going to do some sort of a rank-up and gameplay video on him at some point. Um, so I don't know what I got there frags-wise. Again, I'm going to have to catch it on the replay. But yeah, it looks like I, I got enough frags for two more Tier 4 basics. Um, a Tier 4 tech, which, hey, I mean, I just got Kang. So obviously I'm going to need some tech. 
I uh, got the four star awakening gem crystal. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. No complaints there. Hey, we were just talking about five star uh, skill six stones. I got 10 more. Those are staying and those will be for an eventual Aegon. Let's see what else. Uh, looks like I got half of a tier four cosmic and some more tier one alphas. Hey, another 2,500 uh, five star shards. Getting pretty close. Getting pretty close. Okay, that's it. Um, so let me I'll have to figure this out. Um, do of course I got to do a couple more screenshots. So sorry, not sorry. And I know this is going to be a lengthy vid. I promise. So I might even do some uh, timestamps down below, especially since I am breaking this up in little sets and stuff like that. Um, in case you want to skip ahead or just see certain things or what have you. But hey, I got a four star king. He's finally in my roster after three plus years of playing. I am happy. Um, and I even, I should have a tech gem, I think. Um, do I have a four star tech gem? I will open the four star awakening gem crystal now. No, I don't. Um, so hey, maybe I'll, uh, maybe I can get a tech. Let me do that. Uh, I'll do that right now, actually, since it's part of that set of 10. Let me go ahead and get to, there we go, four star awakening gem crystal. Just drop it in. I mean, I, I really don't have any specific class that I'm looking for, which is why I just very quickly tapped it right there. And it's going to be cosmic. Okay. Um, I had one cosmic gem left, which I used on Corvus recently. So I guess I could throw that into my four star champion. I think that's about it. Anyway, I'm happy. I got four star king. That's pretty darn cool. Um, so, as promised, to break up the second set of ten, here's one more of these supersized annual uh, feature Grandmaster Crystals that's slain and slain from my alliance, gifted over. Shout out to you again, buddy. Thank you for that. Um, so let me go ahead and claim that right there. Or not. Let's see. Is it maybe I need to back out or something? I mean, it's only showing one left in the... Uh, oh, maybe because the day reset and it, uh, it just turned four o'clock actually uh pacific standard time i should say which is when the like the calendar days reset so let's see okay here we go uh so if you missed it i did it already a stack of 10 of these and a little little bubble should be popping up right now to link to that video to check them out uh spoiler alert it was not great um so these again it's a grandmaster so it's a three star with a shot at a four or five these have the 2015 and the 2018 champions in them Nothing in between. Um, so it's cool. I mean, it's literally all... I'm going to let it spin out a little bit so you can see the reel. But again, you already saw Night Thrasher. Darkhawk is in here. Um, but yeah, all of the champs released this year. And then all of the champs released in 2015. Which is important because if you recall, over the last few months, some champs that weren't originally available as a 5-star have been popping into the game. Doctor Strange, uh, Black Widow, Abomination, Electro. They are all in this crystal. So I just tapped it right there. Come on, Slain. Give me some luck, buddy. Come on. Ah, nothing. Three-star Captain Marvel. That five-star Ultron would have... I mean, any five-star would have been nice. That Ultron would have been nice. It would have been a first awakening. Um, and some more six-star shards. But, of course, another three-star. But thank you any, anyway, Slain. Uh, you know I appreciate it. So thank you for giving me the shot. But anyway... Back to the main event. Once again, we are in to the final 10 greater gifting crystals. I mean, today started like the second week of the gifting event. You know, the, the solo milestones reset today. You know, it's a brand new set. There is still a week left. So still be down for trading uh, with anybody. If you didn't see my community video, that should be popping up right now as well. Check it out. It's got, you know, my line ID. It's got Twitter. Um, all the stuff to contact me. If you feel like gifting, of course, I greatly appreciate anything. And as I mentioned, I'm definitely going to be doing a shout out video, uh, sometime next week after the event is over. Um, and at that point, whatever, like gifting crystals, I have greater gifting crystals, anything else, I'll do it in one big opening, um, and just basically use the whole time as a way of saying thank you to everybody. Um, Hey, hundred thousand gold again. And some more cosmic four star six stones. Not terribly exciting, but I'll take them, I guess. Um, I got a four star king. I guess I can't complain too much. Yes, the five star would have been better, but he's in my roster now, so that's cool at least. Um, so I'm happy. I'm actually legit happy about that. That was very cool. 
All right. 100,000 gold again. The gold has finally been warming up. That's nice, which is good because 750 four-star shards. Definitely not worth 300 units, that's for sure. Quick tap on this one. Hopefully these crystals have been treating you fairly well. I mean, you know, you, you see the screenshots. I've seen a handful of five-star kings and five-star Thanoses out there. Um, I've seen a handful of people who have pulled. Hey, there we go. 2,500 uh, five-star shards. Is that enough? Does that... It doesn't. I need one more pull uh, because I think technically that's only 8,500. Going into this opening, I had 11,000 shards. So... You know, I mean, a thousand or so obviously came from my own stash. But uh, if I can cross 20,000, this will be a, a double opening. I, I'll cut corners a little bit if I need to, to make this a double five-star opening. Uh, but yeah, I've seen people with 10,000 five-star shards, 15,000 five-star shards. Um, I've seen plenty of 750 four-star shards, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, like I said, I've seen a few, you know, Kings and Thanoses and stuff like that. Uh, a couple people in my alliance got a four-star king this time around. One guy got a five-star awakening gem crystal, which, of course, is awesome. Um, so, yeah. So, the jackpots are out there. They're just obviously few and far between. Um, hey, another 36,000 tier four basic frags. So, that's another tier four basic. Uh, like I said, which is good. I, I'm going to need a bunch of them, I think. Because um, I believe I will have two big rank ups coming soon, including my third rank five five star. Very exciting stuff. All right, so let's see. This is crystal number what twenty seven, and more tier four basic, and more uh, thirty six thousand tier four basics. So, like I said, if they if they want to give me tier four basic frags, that's fine. You know, especially if it keeps being thirty six thousand each time. Like, just keep giving me these. Uh, Fully formed basics. I'm okay with that. You know, I've got a few champs that I want to rank up in a, you know, in addition to the rank five. So I will need all the basics that I can get. And more cosmic frags. At least it's a fully formed. Um, I don't think I really need cosmic. I can't remember um, if that's a class that I maxed out on or not. But uh, I don't think I have any big cosmic rank ups to do right now so that might have to go into the overflow overflow we shall see uh mr Geiso, seven thousand gold and hey four star awakening gem crystal i'll go ahead and open up that one next as well um like i said if i can get that tech i can at least use it on kang because i don't expect to dupe him anytime soon all right, and so for the final greater gifting crystal, for now, I have at least one more to do at some point later on. Um, hey, well, 2,000 four-star shards, so a guaranteed, hey, Big Poppy 24 sending me something. Uh, you get an early shout out there, um, but at least that's a, a full four-star pull, so it's, I mean, it's still not really worth 300 units these days, but it's better than 750 shards or uh, four-star six stones. But yeah, so from this set... Um, like I said, sorry, not sorry, but I got to do my screenshots. A uh, bunch of the tier four basic frags and the cosmic frags. Um, so yeah, unfortunately this will be just, this is only going to be the one. So I guess I will save another five star poll for the usual Sunday opening. Fair is fair. I don't want to try and, you know, uh, do anything, but it makes me feel better because then I know that I have a four star or a five star poll coming on Sunday again. So I'm 100% a okay with that, but Never fear, there is still one four-star that is happening in about 30 seconds. <laughs> uh, let me just quickly tap this one. Like I said, tech would be cool. Don't need cosmic. Uh, so, of course, that's what I get. That is why, before I opened the five-star Awakening Gem Crystal, the only thing I did not want to say is that I don't want cosmic. Because I know they would have given me my fourth cosmic Awakening Gem. And... I'm good. I don't need any more. I'm okay. I already used one on Hela. I used one on Medusa. I've got one in my stash right now. I'm good. And I know some of you might be who are watching this right now, you might be raging like, oh, just open up a four star or something. But I will wait. It's fine. Um, I'll wait till Sunday for my usual weekly crystal opening. But as promised, I'm going to open up one right now. Dropping it in the spinner. 
Um, I'm going to let this spin out because I have not let any crystal spin out fully today. So I'm just going to do that. And since I haven't called out what I want, let's do it. Beardo, number one. I want that dupe. I want that dupe a lot. Domino just got her, so I would love a, a basically free awakening, so to speak. I would love to get her awakened. Ditto Infinity Man. If I were to get a dupe, those are my top three choices. In terms of new champs, still want my voodoo. Still want Sparky. Um, Korg Void. I still don't even have a four-star Void. Um, uh, Sentinel will be cool to get. Ghost is so so up there on the list i would love to pull a five star ghost um all right it just stopped on its own let's see how we're gonna end up today and it is going to be korg nice oh and i just got that skill gem too oh oh man that makes it interesting doesn't it that makes it very, very interesting. I still think that I want to save for Aegon instead, but this does change things. This is, I mean, it wasn't a top choice, but I'm super not disappointed at all with this. That is really interesting. Um, I was not prepared for this, especially after pulling the skill gem. I was really not prepared for this, but I have a five-star Korg. That is awesome. Uh, yeah, that's pretty darn cool. So I'm going to need to start working with him because I don't have him as a four star yet. So I haven't really tested him out all that much, but I will start testing him out immediately because that is actually really interesting. Uh, yeah, that was cool. That was, you know, what? overall, I wasn't disappointed with the opening. Um, I mean, like I said, I got one of the, I got one of the champs. I got one of the, the, the token, the jackpot champs, whatever you want to call them. Um, I've got my four star King. So again, I might wait, um, until I can maybe get like a tech gem and or, or a, uh, generic gem or something that I could throw into him. Um, but I would like to do a rank up video. Um, I would like to do a gameplay video on him. Just kind of go over his abilities and what have you. As you can see, he doesn't have too, too much going on with him. He's not an amazing champ or anything, but since in the grand scheme of things, so few of us have any version of Kang, I think it'd be fun to, to do a, a mini spotlight on him, um, and just see what we can do. And I mean, I got a new Korg. I got a couple of the four star gems. I got a bunch of five star shards. Um, so yeah, overall, I'm not disappointed at all. You know, some of those crystals were the ones that came from the calendar. Um, there we go. Yeah. Like we just got three yesterday. Um, some of the ones were ones that were just straight up gifted to me. And again, a shout out that'll be coming later. Some of them were, you know, trades that I did with, with, people from my alliance or friends or what have you so overall um you know i am definitely not disappointed with the amount of crystals that i opened and the amount of stuff that i got because especially catalysts um i'm sure i have stuff in the overflow now um so many tier one alphas of course oh good nothing is in the overflow in terms of basics or um uh, tier four like class catalysts so i'm actually i'm really happy with that i'm up to 11 now so that's good considering all the frags that i got um and yeah nothing is well tech is maxed out but it looks like i'm pretty low there in terms of frags so i got a cushion i got some time anyway that is gonna wrap it up so if you've made it all the way to the end of this video thank you you are uh you are a true believer um and you have a lot of endurance but like i said i will be breaking this up into uh different timestamps down below so you can check out all of the different things that i open anyway thank you for watching if you enjoyed it smash that like button uh let me know down below how is your christmas if you celebrated it how have the gifting crystals been um what did you get from your free awakening gem yesterday let me know all that stuff i'm super happy to be back and playing catch up and all that um got a few things coming up i do want to do a live stream of the maze at least try and do a first completion uh perhaps this weekend i also want to do a live stream of all of the chilled challenges i have not done any of those yet i've been saving all of the gadgets um, and especially since the the um, solo gifting calendar or milestones reset today, there are a few more to pick up. I'm waiting for the rest of the ones from the calendar. So that'll probably be New Year's Day, actually. I'm going to do a live stream where I literally do all 
I guess it's 27 now of the runs and open and get all the rewards on stream. So that'll be coming up next Tuesday. The May is probably this weekend, other content. So if you're not already a subscriber, please hit that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it. Very, very close to the one K sub mark. It is almost there. Uh, so let's see if maybe we can do it before the new year. Um, but yes, thank you everybody for your support. It is, it is super appreciated. Trust me. And yeah, thank you for watching. Take care. Belated Merry Christmas. And I will see you all next time.